so that integration of 0 to infinity square root y into e raise to minus y square dy into integration of 0 to infinity e raise to minus y square divided by root y dy. Then you show that pi upon 2 root pi. Now, now these are a in definite integral by converting into gamma function you prove that right hand side. Okay. Now solution. Now, the standard function is definition gamma n is equal to 2 into integration of 0 to infinity e to the power minus x square and x is to 2n minus 1 with respect to x. Now you call this is equation number 1. Okay. Now this first integral this called i1 and this one is called i2. Okay. Now let now i1 is equal to take first part integration of 0 to infinity root y into e raise to minus y square dy. Now this one you convert into this standard form. Okay. Now this is equal to integration of 0 to infinity. Okay. Now e raise to minus y square and this is a y raise to 1 by 2 with respect to y. Now call this is equation number 2. Now take second integral part called i2 integration of 0 to infinity e raise to minus y square divided by root y with respect to y is equal to again this integral part convert into this standard form okay integration of 0 to infinity e raise to minus y square 1 upon root y means 1 upon y raise to 1 by 2 shift in numerator y raise to minus 1 by 2 with respect to y now this is equation number 3 okay now Equation number 1 becomes, 1 becomes, now only you take integral part, integration of 0 to infinity e raise to minus x square into x raise to 2n minus 1 dx, this is equation number 4, okay, and this is equal to, only integral part and 2 is a cross multiply, means gamma n divided by 2 gamma n by 2 divided by 2 means 1 by 2 into gamma n okay now comparing 2 and 4 now comparing 2 and equation number 4 comparing to integration of integration of e raise to minus x square e raise to minus y square dx dy and x is to 2n minus 1 and y is to half okay that means only x and y interchange 2n minus 1 is equal to half 2n minus 1 equal to half okay now shift 1 by 2 plus 1 is a 3 by 2 and 2 is cross multiply therefore n is equal to 3 by 4 now therefore i1 is equal to i1 is equal to this part integral part is a n is equal to 3 by 2 means this integral part is a gamma n by 2 means 1 by 2 into gamma n n means what 3 by 4 now this integral part and this integral part find n and n substitute gamma n means 3 by 4 and this is a 1 by 2 this is i1 okay similarly comparing equation number 3 and equation number 4 compare these two equation integration part with the limit is same e raise to minus x square e raise to minus y square dx dy x raise to and this is y raise to means 2n minus 1 is equal to minus half now comparing these two now 2n minus 1 is equal to minus half okay minus 1 shift this side plus 1 minus half plus 1 is a plus 1 by 2 and 2 is cross multiply therefore n is equal to 1 by 4 now this n value substitute here means this integral part is equal to 1 by 2 into gamma n n means 1, uh, 1 by 4 now i2 is equal to n 1 by 2 into gamma n comparing these two equation n is a 3 uh, 1 by 4 gamma 1 by 4 now therefore i1 sorry i1 into i2 is equal to i1 is and i2 is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is a 1 by 4 gamma 3 by 4 into gamma 1 by 4 
ओके बट बट गामा थ्री बाय फोर एंड गामा वन बाय फोर इज इक्वल टू पा इंटू रूट पाई नाउ आई वन इंटू आई टू इज इक्वल टू वन बाय फोर इंटू दिस पार्ट इज ए पा इंटू रूट टू एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू 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 फोर मीन्स टू 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 वन रूट टू वन रूट टू इज ए पाए अपॉन फोर मीन्स टू टू रूट कैंसल टू इंटू रूट टू एंड दिस इज ए रिक्वायर्ड सोल्यूशन